So ostensibly, the studio just like went through his cut and was like, okay, which scenes have like the least amount of action? Because that's what audiences care about. And they're just like, cut, 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 and just like sliced and diced his movie to oblivion. So what came out was the Batman v Superman theatrical cut. And upon its release, uh, to this day, it has like a 26% on Rotten Tomatoes. Granted, I'm not sure the ultimate cut would like, I'm not sure how much higher of a score it would have uh, if critics had seen that version. But the version they got in theaters was an incomprehensible mess. Like, it, it, the scenes that were removed, I mean, they remove like 80% of uh, Clark Kent investigating the Batman in Gotham, which is like a huge part of the story because it, it builds up his motivations for wanting to fight this like regular human guy, you know, because he's Superman. He's supposed to be above that. But his investigation reveals to him that Batman's brand of justice is one that he sees as, you know, completely unfair and, and unjust. You know, he, he's uh, Batman in this movie basically brands criminals that he wants to get shanked in prison. And that's like his. Uh, the, the the sign to his like men in prison to just like remove this criminal from like existence and superman really has a problem with that because he's superman right like he's the superman that everyone actually knows uh they just don't recognize him um and of course they're not going to recognize him if the studio removes that entire subplot uh which they absolutely did another really vital piece that they removed was lois lane doing like a lot of her own investigating um in fact a really critical part that they removed is uh, Lois discovers that the guy who got his legs crushed in the Metropolis attack, Bruce Wayne's employee, um, he basically, uh, you know, after his legs are crushed and he's paralyzed, he also has a vendetta against Superman, who he sees like having callously, you know, defended the city, leading to him, him losing his legs. And he uh, gets an offer from Lex Luthor to testify in Congress against Superman. Well, Lex hides a, hides a bomb in his chair underneath lead because you know just like in the comics for some reason superman just can't see like through a specific element for some reason no one really knows why uh but so yeah he lex luther had to bomb in this guy's chair and in the theatrical version the guy the bomb just explodes and it's left really unclear if this guy knew he was going to be a martyr or and he just like went along with it or whatever which it, it led to his sort of motivations being really fuzzy well in the ultimate edition we discover that Lois actually learns that this guy didn't realize he was going to die. So Lex actually planted this bomb in his chair without him even knowing. He thought he was actually going to stand up and do a good thing in Congress and, like, you know, face his former, uh, you know, the villain of his life, essentially. Well, no. Lex just uses him to frame Superman, essentially, which is, like, a really interesting detail. Uh, and that whole thing is lost, and it removes a lot of attention of the scene. Um, so that's sort of like the gist of the ultimate edition. It throws in a whole half hour more footage, which is crazy and brings it back up to that sort of three hour runtime. Um, and it as a whole just makes more sense. This movie is going to be convoluted plot wise, no matter what version you see, but if you're going to see it, do yourself a favor and watch the one that actually has a, a through line with its plot where everything builds off of, you know, off of itself and creates like a complete whole because the theatrical version did not do that and i think that's a big reason why it failed at the box office well yeah sorry i should clarify it didn't fail at the box office it made 800 million dollars probably why it failed with critics and didn't resonate with audiences there yeah. right and part of the reason i like this movie so much is because of the politics be behind the scenes and they leave out a lot of that uh, especially in um, lois lane's investigations um the beginning scene isn't it also the beginning scene when they're in the middle east part of that is kind of cut out as well yeah the thank you for yeah for reminding me the yeah it's the um one, one of the one, one of the opening scenes of the movie is um lois uh heading to the middle east basically she, lois is a journalist for the daily planet and she goes to the middle east um to sort of interview a uh a, a terrorist and uh, what she doesn't know is that the CIA actually planted like um, an agent with her as her photographer, uh, and the the civilian contractors uh, who are with this terrorist guy discover that he's an agent. Um, but what they all don't know is that Lois was actually uh, Lex Luthor arranged that interview. 
which is, this is what's so crazy. Ultimate Edition didn't even make this clear. But Lex Luthor arranged that interview with the terrorist guy to get Lois in a dangerous situation because Lex deduced that Superman and Lois are close. Uh, in order to bait Superman to go into this compound uh, and save Lois, which he does, but then Lex's civilian contractors at this compound burn and like mutilate the bodies of the a terrorist and, and like civilians who are in this compound to make it look like Superman came in and just heat visioned everyone just like on a whim and then just like blasted away. Uh, which is like that's really interesting setup. Like Lex, what people don't understand about this movie, and it just like blows my mind to this day, is they see Jesse Eisenberg's Les or Lex as just this like kind of like incoherent, like eclectic, crazy man. But like the guy is conniving, and he set up everything from the very beginning. He's brilliant, and uh, yeah, the scene that was cut from the theatrical version was them literally doing the setup that the rest of the movie is about. It, they cut them like burning the bodies and making it look like Superman uh, had done it. Also, they cut the part where the U.S. was going to drone strike this compound anyway. So there's politics for you. But Zach apparently has issues with the U.S. myth complex. So there you go.